Hello there ladies and gentlemen, I'm the CHAL Alan today, Chal Chats, Dogs to Rovers Football Club, where today we're at this massive event at the Dome, John Ryan's put it on, we've got some exciting stuff coming up, we're going to check out everything that's been going on inside the Dome today, ahead of this exciting new season on the ground for Cannes, so let's get inside and let's see exactly what's going on. Doggy scores from the spot and we're up 1-0. Pricey adds a second and the fans are so thrilled Up steps Coppinger and he bags free We are Donny Rovers and we're going to Wembley We are Donny Rovers and we are going up We'll beat Leeds United and lift the playoff cup We are Donny Rovers, the men in red and white I know I am, I'm sure I am, I'm Rovers till I die Definitely mate, yeah, he's a charismatic man, isn't he John? Um, I felt the optimism in the room at the end of that event. Uh, it was great to see. Uh, it felt like a special moment actually, a stand innovation right at the end of it. I'm looking forward to the new season, I'm sure loads of fans are as well. There was 600 there tonight and uh, thousands more reading all the, uh, the live vlogs we were running. So, yeah, a good night all round, definitely. I thought it was a fantastic event, a really positive experience. Everything about John Ryan just spreads positivity and lets over all the fans that have turned out in the numbers this evening really listen to John and get behind him because I think it's a club on the up again. We've been in the doldrums for a couple of years, but I, I feel really, really optimistic and enthused by what John has said. Mr. Rovers has gone down the pan in the last couple of years. Yeah. Yeah. I'm so pleased to see you all here in the show. Look at this new show. You've got to get one. They're absolutely brilliant. They remind me of the 2008 shirt. And where did that season finish? Wembley. Excellent, it was a fantastic turnout and I think he'll be well pleased with that. It's not just down to Terry. Oh, Terry will put the money in. Terry's probably putting 15, 20 million. You've got, uh, yeah, that's a lot of money. You can turn very well for that. I put it in, in my day, approaching 10 million. Dick did put even more in than I did. And I'd just like to say a little word about Dick Watson. Unfortunately, the day he died was a terrible day, not only for his family, but for Doncaster Rovers. He was my right-hand man in many ways during those successful years. And he gave me so much, uh, what's the word, he made me really go for it. And he made the team go for it. And I just want you to put your hands together for a truly great Doncaster <laughs> I think I heard you on the radio the other night, Aaron, say lots of good, astute signings, and I think that's a very accurate assessment. Um, one more close, hopefully, uh, maybe before the end of the week. So, all good news. Everyone likes signings, it's always exciting, isn't it? Um, and yeah, I've been quite impressed with them as well. Uh, no one has sort of blown me away, but like you say, good solid signings, and um, I think Joe Ironside's the pick of the bunch at the moment. That was the whole point of the meeting tonight for John to start banging the drum again and building up the support and uh, handing out these season tickets which he's bought himself um, yeah and Grant's made some, some some great signings already and I think there may be one or two more to come. If John can get to 6,000 that's his target now. Uh, he was flicking between five and six but it's now six so it could be a much better atmosphere, uh, much better place to come and, uh, and work and enjoy your football next season definitely. You just see about the positive vibes in the room right now it's, it's been a fantastic day to really push the the, the city of Doncaster to really back the club next season. I mean, how optimistic are you about our chances in League Two? Because, you know, despite it being a positive summer so far, it is still the tightest league in football in Europe. And there's some great teams in there. At least half the league could be up for promotion this year. I agree, and I, I definitely think that we'll be one of them. Um, my thoughts are that, you know, 
we, we should be aiming for the playoffs, if not automatic. I've got 100% faith in this manager. I think he did an excellent job when he was here before. He went on, off to Hull City, he proved himself there. Yeah, I thought he was lucky to lose his job in League One at Peterborough, and Peterborough's loss is our gain. If there's anybody that I wanted to come in and manage my football club at this stage, it's Grant McCann and his assistant club Bern alongside him. I'm highly delighted. I feel supercharged with what we've done and optimistic for playoffs minimum. What could set Doncaster Rovers apart from other clubs this season? Uh, I think that togetherness between the fans and the club, I don't think that was there last season uh, for understandable reasons, but nonetheless it, it did create a toxic environment at times and some of the players alluded to that, some of the opposition managers alluded to that as well. I think if you can channel some of the spirit that's in the room, uh, some of the charisma uh, and energy that John can whip up among the fans is incredible really, it's really quite unique. Um, I think that really could help Doncaster, uh, as well as the fact they've got a great manager um, and they've made some good signings, they've got some good players already there. so. Hopefully, it all comes together. We had an incredible journey, and look where we are now. But things are going to change. Because uh, I actually thought we were on the way out, out of the league. I mean, and fortunately, and I've got to give a lot of credit to Terry for this, because it's not easy uh, to change things around. He's changed things around. Well done, Gavin, as well. And we've now got a first class manager. It was like the old days. It was like uh, we're only a pub team having a laugh and we're going for it. And I think this will be the start of a new renaissance of Doncaster Rovers. We've raised a lot of money tonight. Uh, giving a lot of season tickets away, um, I've signed a lot of shares and everyone's very happy. Uh, I do like this, brings all the fans back together again. Absolutely, I mean it's going to be a very exciting season potentially next season with Grant McCann back in charge after four years away with the signs that we've made so far this season with plenty more to come. I mean the sky's the limit at the moment to see what we can do next season. Well, I'm coming, I've not been to the Eco Arena for ten years. I watch all the games on iFollow, but I'm coming to the first home game. I'm in the black bank and I want it full. So, whatever it takes, we've got to fill that black bank and make it intimidating to whoever comes Barrow, Wrexham, North County, whoever it may be. We've got to stop them. Absolutely, and um, obviously we know League Two is going to be a tight lead this year with the majority of them destined for promotion or trying to go for promotion. What sets Doncaster Rovers aside from the other teams in the league? Because we're not a League Two team. We're a class team that belongs top of League One or the, or the bottom half of the Championship. That's where we belong, where Rotherham and Barnsley are now. Don't forget we're a city. They're a, they're a measly town. So it's about time we lived up to our status. We've got a beautiful stadium, so let's go for it. We've got to fill that stadium, though. And that was what it was all about tonight, getting bums on seats. So that is the end of our day here at the Dome in Doncaster. It's been a fantastic event from John Ryan and everyone connected with the club helping out as well. It's been such a fantastic day. The sun's shining, the sun's coming down now. It's been an excellent event so far. I think everyone's really excited for the new season. It's going to be fantastic to see the club do so well and try and push back to League One next season. Now, of course, if you do like this video, please do like, comment, subscribe. Click the notification bell to name YouTube video. We're back for more coverage during the season next year. And for now, I'm the CHALL. To off for now. We are Tony Rovers and we are going up. We'll beat Leeds United and lift the playoff cup. We are Tony Rovers, the men in red and white. I know I am, I'm sure I am, I'm Rovers till I die.